Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. I'm Mark and today we're gonna to be talking about protection, knee and elbow protection. When we go riding, we wanna make sure that if we fall over that we're gonna be okay and we can get up and continue riding on. So we are gonna be talking about Liat brand. Uh, found it at a local store and uh, we actually have three models here that I'll show you, the ones that I use and the ones that my son uses. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so the first one I wanna show you, this is the 3DF. Now this is a short version. Uh, when my son was younger, uh, this fit his leg. It's, as you can see, it's not very wide, it's pretty narrow. So he was probably about um, probably uh, 12, 13 when we had these. Uh, this product is not hard. This is kind of like a gel uh, insert here. So it's real soft. You can push your finger down into it, and it's probably about a half inch thick. Uh, it does strap on. There is a Velcro strap that allows you to tighten it up around your thigh. All right, so here's how the knee pads look while you're sitting on the bike. Uh, they, they bunch a little bit here. Uh, if I stand up, you can see where the knee pads hit. Um, there's a little bit of padding here and here that I saw that I didn't see when we were looking at them the first time. Uh, but, you know, they offer decent protection. Uh, they do stick out a little bit for me. Um, obviously, these weren't the very very expensive uh, compared to the other two. But this is a good starter. Uh, when I am bent at the knee, uh, this fills in very well. So when I stand up, it kind of bulges a little bit. When I sit back down, uh, it fills into my knee. So not bad, and as you can see, there is the cutout for the back of the knee, so it, the, the material doesn't bunch, uh, making it uncomfortable. All right, the second knee pad that um, uh, we have, this is used by my oldest son, is called the dual axis. Uh, my only thoughts are the dual axis, two pivot points, and this is articulating. Uh, this is all hard plastic, the inside is nice and soft, a little bit of padding, uh, the rivets that create the dual access are right here, and there's a flap over it with some padding, so it's comfortable. Uh, there are three straps, one for the top, one for more or less the top of the shin, and then there's a third one right here. And these all basically just snap in. And then, of course, uh, there's a Velcro adjustment on the back uh, that... Uh, tailors to his fit. Now once you get these things all adjusted, uh, all you have to do is snap these in and out. No problem. So there's no more fiddling with the Velcro. And as we know, Velcro... Alright, so we have the dual axis uh, knee pads on. Uh, these are a little tight because my son's a little smaller than I am, but I want to at least try them on for you. As you can see, how the, how the articulation works. Uh, the pivot point is exactly where it needs to be, so there's no binding. Um, there's, of course, no binding in the material back here. There's nothing. Uh, there is a little bit of extra padding underneath the Velcro straps, which is actually quite comfortable. Um, and then there is some extra padding up here where it's at the thigh, above the knee. No bunching, uh, but as you can see, there's no padding on the sides. So when you're on the bike and you have your pants on, basically it's just plastic on plastic. Uh, but these are very comfortable. Uh, they're a little small for me, but at least I wanted to show you guys uh, how big they were. As you can also see how far they go down into the boot. Uh, the bottom of the guard basically is about down to here. Uh, these have excellent protection, hard, comfortable. My son never complains about wearing these, which is important. You always want safety equipment to be comfortable so that you wear it. All right, so those are the Liat Dual Axis. All right, the third knee pad in our selection here is the Hybrid 3DF. And uh, the best thing about these pads are the length of them. Basically, from my thigh all the way down to the bottom of my shin, I have full protection. Uh, the boot pretty much comes up to here, but I love this because uh, my entire leg basically is covered. Uh, even though this says 3DF, this is a hard plastic in here. There is some padding on the top, but for the most part, this covers the kneecap. 
Uh, it doesn't, there's no articulation here. It's just one piece. It does flex very well, but uh, there is enough flex in this where it's not uncomfortable. Uh, hard plastic on the outside for the shins, uh, just like the dual axis, there is padding in here in case it goes up against your skin or a sock. It's very comfortable. Uh, the best part and the reason why I bought these is because there is padding on the sides. Now, when you grip the bike with your legs, which you're supposed to, uh, I can grip the bike fairly firm and my uh, knees do not dig into the plastic. I have bony knees and when I go to grip the bike, it's a bit uncomfortable, especially if I'm riding pretty hard. So these pads allow me to grip the bike and to not think about uh, hurting my legs and hurting the sides of my knees. Uh, just like the first pair I showed you, it does have the cutout for the back of the knee, so you don't get that material bunching in the back. Uh, there are three Velcro straps that hold it on. Uh, these have been used dozens, dozens of times. Starting to lose a little bit of the stitching here. I'm going to have to have my wife fix that. Uh, but these have been through the wash. These, all of these are machine washable. I can't say enough about these. I have been wearing these for two years and they are absolutely comfortable. Uh, as you can see, the protection goes down into the boot. It also fills in the boot the way these boots are made. It just seems like that this pad was made for this boot. Very comfortable. We have the cutout for the back of the knee so it doesn't bind. Uh, we have the padding on the side. Good padding here, good padding on the inside. So when my knee hits against the bike, there's just nothing but padding there. Very comfortable. Uh, Velcro straps are in the right place. They don't fall down, they don't move around. I totally forget that I even have them on. Uh, when I do stand, these do bulge a little bit right here. When I sit down, they fill in just like the first ones. Uh, I'm predominantly a rider that rides on the seat. I do stand up a little bit, but I tend to ride on the, my seat more, so these don't bother me. But when I do stand, bend my legs, these work very well. And uh, again, can't say enough about them. Liat brand is a very good brand. Stitching, everything has lasted two years now and dozens of washings. So that is the Liat 3DF Hybrid. All right, last thing to talk about are the elbow pads. Uh, still important, not as big, not as bulky, but the Liat brand to me is all about comfort. And hard plastic on the outside, uh, perfect articulation. Uh, again, I have worn these all day and totally forget that I'm even wearing them. The mesh on the top here is very comfortable. It breathes. Um, they don't move around. This whole sock goes up your, your arm. A um, little bit of padding on the inside to make it more comfortable, uh, but this is basically just hard plastic. It's not any gel or anything like that. And I have gone down a couple of times and landed on my elbows and no pain, no discomfort, no injuries. Just get back up and start riding again. So we've been riding our bikes. Uh, we've been out about three times now. Our riding spot has been finally open since the virus outbreak. Uh, we've had a good time getting things dirty. All that hard work and me cleaning um, is somewhat bittersweet, but we know that all the parts are lubricated and are gonna work well. Uh, we've had had some issues with our fork seals leaking. Uh, my next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we clean uh, our fork seals because uh, I've heard a lot of guys having issues, especially with mud. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys have um, some knowledge that we've been able to pick up, save us a lot of money. I'm also going to be replacing the tire on my dirt bike. This is a Geomax MX3S, which is a good tire if you're in a motocross, but I am not into motocross. I'm into trail riding, and where we ride, there's a lot of rocks, a lot of mud, and sometimes it gets really slippery. So I ended up buying a Shinko 505 Cheater. My youngest son has the same tire and he says he loves it and I'm a little jealous. 
So I'm going to be putting on the 505 on my bike. So that'll be in an up and coming video here pretty soon. Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since my last video. Uh, work got busy, life got busy, and uh, kind of lost track of time. But I'm back on it, I'm happy to be doing it, and this is fun for me. Uh, we're getting some good riding in, so uh, probably gonna be showing you some of our riding spots as well. But hey, if you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell so you won't miss our next episode. I love doing this, this has been fun, and hope I can give you guys good information. If you want to know anything, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to oblige. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.